All right, so what is consumer surplus? Uh, consumer surplus is the, the extra value that the consumer gets that they don't have to pay for. So you buy a product and, and maybe you, you bought a product online on some auction and, and you paid a certain amount for it and you were excited. You, you probably did a little dance. Uh, pretty fired up about it. The reason you did that dance, the reason you were so excited about winning that item at auction was because you were willing to pay more money for that, that item. You didn't have to pay though. You, you paid a lower price than, than you were willing to and thus you got consumer surplus. You do this most of the time. You, you go into a restaurant, go into a fast food joint and you order a hamburger and it's a, it's a cheap hamburger. You pay a dollar for the hamburger. That first hamburger that you get, you really value. You are, you are hungry. You are really hungry. You would have paid two, three, maybe four dollars for the hamburger. You only had to pay a dollar for it. You got consumer surplus. It's, it's that additional value uh, above what you had to pay for. So, so let's draw your, your demand curve, the supply of hamburgers. You paid the equilibrium price. And, and you got one hamburger, uh, you know that, that you got more value. You would have been willing to pay up to, let's say this is $3, and you only paid $1 for that hamburger. That additional value that you got was your consumer surplus. Uh, as you eat more uh, hamburgers, as you buy more hamburgers, maybe you bought a second hamburger, Well, that second hamburger, again, you only paid one dollar for it. That's the equilibrium price. That's the market price. That's the price on the sign at the restaurant. You only paid one dollar for it, but you would have valued that second hamburger at two dollars. You would have been willing to pay two dollars. You would have given the guy two bucks for that hamburger, but you gave him one dollar. He gave you a hamburger. You're pretty ex excited about that. Uh, that third hamburger. Yeah, my graphs are not exactly to scale here, sorry. Uh, that, that third hamburger you purchased, right? You, you bought the third hamburger, you paid a dollar for it, and it was, it was valued at a dollar to you. You, you. you didn't get any consumer surplus from that, that third hamburger. You hand him a dollar, he gave you a dollar's worth of hamburger, a hamburger that you valued at a dollar. Uh, and so we can see our, our diminishing marginal returns at, at play here. And a diminishing margin utility. So you, you like this less and less as you're consuming more of these hamburgers. Uh, you're willing to pay less and less. The law of demand, downward sloping demand curve. Uh, and and your the, the sum of your consumer surplus is above the price, above the equilibrium price, and below the demand curve. So it's that triangle is your consumer surplus. You could calculate that. If you wanted to figure out uh, exactly what your consumer surplus was, uh, you could put a dollar figure on that. Let's say that uh, we wanted to calculate this area, uh, so we would use some, some high-end ge uh, geometry, one-half base times height, and so if we knew the height of this, we could plug in a four up here. So we can say that's one, two, three high, one, two, three wide. We have one half, three, three should give you four and a half. So uh, that that's that. You can put a numerical value. So four and a half dollars. That's the consumer surplus you got uh, when you when you could bought consumed those those three hamburgers. You got you got about and it's not exact because we're looking at discrete units here and not not uh, this continuous function. Uh, but you, know, you you got a couple dollars. You paid a dollar. You got three dollars worth of consumer surplus. Uh, you you got another dollar. Um, 